Hey everybody, it's Craig here at Summer Racing Equipment. I'm here today with Justin from Notchet. How are you, sir? Doing well with yourself. Very good, very good. We're really pleased to have him here and go over a bunch of the different products they have. Some have been well established with us for a number of years and some are new, so we want to just go over everything. The first thing we're going to start with is just kind of how you guys got started and that had to do with the prestigious Riddler Award. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, so the company we started with, well, my dad, uh, is Diver Street Rods. And him and his brother and a few others uh, started their journey to make a Riddler car. And that took about six years in total. And the crazy thing about a Riddler Award is, the how, is how scrupulous the uh, judging is. And one of the things that we were told is that bolts had to be perfectly aligned and all the hexes had to be in one plane. We decided to design our own bolts with seven notches. Seven notches cannot be indexed. So we said judge that and we were lucky enough to actually win the Riddler Award with it. Enough people came to us saying they wanted the bolts that we made and a few years later we were able to actually design and manufacture our bolts. And that's such a cool, it's got a specific tool that helps you just make sure that that always goes in perfectly straight, makes it tighten ever well. Yeah. And then you have the tools to go with it. Yeah. So to, to put them in. Unlike a button head that rounds off, you have so much surface area, you actually cannot round it off and it'd be very difficult. We torqued down uh, the 3 8 size to uh, 84 foot pounds before the pins broke, but the bolt was completely unscathed. So this will give you enough confidence to put them anywhere you need and they'll never leave you stranded. And guys, what's pretty cool is they have these in a complete builder kit to start out with, or you can get these in some individual packs for specific applications. All that, of course, you'll be able to look up on our website as well, but it's really cool and provides you with a lot of different avenues to start out with. Yeah, and if you're going against paint, we give you uh, neoprene washers. So if you're sucking up against your paint job, you're not gonna spider it as you actually crank it down on your fenders. It's something you, we really worry about on those really good paint jobs. And listening to some of the customers that actually bought our items, they said, besides just looking very nice and bringing your project to the next level, it actually works as a security bolt as well. No one can try to take off your license plate. We've had people use them on their bicycles for their heat, uh, their seats and their saddle bags. We've also had them on, um, you know, marine applications as well. That's nice, guys. For motorcycle guys like myself, that's an added bonus for us too. Now, you've got some tools on there. If somebody was wanting to take these and finalize and polish those up, even more, you've got some neat tools here yeah, to help out too. Exactly. Uh, going into the manufacturing of the bolts, we necessarily had to polish them by hand. And if you've ever had to be in a room with that polisher, you know it is kind of a wrestle with the devil. We designed our own massive pin vise that is made of billet of aluminum and then black hard anodized and it can handle any heat. It will never mar your threads because the aluminum is softer than all the bolts you're working on. And you can take it to anything as far as the wire wheel or band saw and keep your fingers out of the way and have it keeping it away from your face and also bolts and nuts from flying towards your cars you're working on. We like to put other things within it as far as you know tubing. I like putting taps in the smaller one because that T-handle never fits or even uh, Sawzall blades when working on fiberglass to cut it when it's still green. You guys, that, there's a kit as well for that that's got the tools for it that makes everything nice and complete for you when you're buying the other package as well. Yeah, the, uh, the original kit comes with just one handle you change out with a set screw. It comes out with two heads and people wanted something bigger so there's a, an add-on for the half inch. If you don't want to change out heads, we have a master kit here that we call the commercial grip kit that comes with all three tools with all three heads. Everything you need there besides a uh, add-on for doing nuts. We have a nut polishing as well. One of the other things you guys are known for is your line clamps. And I mean, these are state of the art. Um, when we were looking at these and you're showing it to me, obviously the, flex, the flexible hose, you can pull out pretty easy, but the strength and rigidity to keep these lines in here is just pretty amazing. Could you tell me a little bit about it? Yeah, uh, well, because we're high-end car builders, we don't want to use anything that is cheap or can um, endanger any of our customers. We want to drive them as hard as we want to. And with our clips, we made them out of copolymer acetal, which is a step above Delrin. It has a melting temperature of 380 degrees. 
They have an extremely hard hold, so they will not leave you stranded or they will not rattle out. And you can stack them any way you need. In builder kits like this, they come with all the hardware, and instead of using zip ties holding all your lines together, you can actually stack lines where you need them and put them where you need them instead of having them flop about. So you've always got that nice clean look and the separation. Yes, and besides just looking very nice for a show car, I've had a lot of people in the off-road industry and 4x4ing, they like to use our clips on almost all their lines as they go up mudding and going into the pits and stuff, and when they come back, they can snap the lines off, pressure wash, snap the lines back on. There's no rocks hanging on any other lines. There's no injuries on that. And sometimes I've heard some of my friends say when they get stuck and a line gets caught, it has enough force to pull the line out instead of getting sheared off and they don't lose their brake line as they're still up the mountain. Now th these come in a big kit as well like this. It's yep. got different various sizes. Yeah, so a builder kit like this, they come with a certain type. This is a builder kit for soft lines, so for all your heater hoses and AC. We have a builder kit for all braided lines and also a builder kit for all hard lines. You can also get them as a single size in packs of six as well. And they all do come with the hardware to snap together. And staying along those lines, because of the just the top-notch finishes that you guys have, you also added some other parts on here that were really cool. You were telling me a little bit about your uncle being a upholster and, and some of the items here. Can yeah. you tell me a little bit about this? Because it's it really is top top of the line stuff that you guys have. Yeah, so um, if you can remember what these are, these are dimmer switches that go on the floorboards of some of the cars that we work on. And trying to get a dimmer switch to look nice on these cars is a real struggle. The kits you get in normal carpet or normal interiors, they usually come with a plastic ring that never actually stays where you need to. So we came up with a snap ring design. You put the carpet in between the ridges and snap ring it depending on how thick your carpet is and it sits it in a very nice place. Gives a really clean look for almost no work at all. And if you have changed your dimmer switch to something that is on your column, you can always make that a momentary switch. I've had people do it for uh, kick downs. I've had people do it for overdrive clickers. Staying along those lines as well, these were the, the bulkhead things you were talking about too. Yeah, so running the heater hoses. So about the same idea as far as the ring, but it has an ABS nut. So depending on how thick your firewall is or how much dynamat you shoved in there, you just cinch her down and then you have a clean pass through for all your hoses. So you're not dealing with a massive grommet that you have to auger out. And since it's small enough, you would actually duck it underneath or even put it into a fender. So that way, like we said with the hoses, you're putting your hoses where you want to, not where the car was designed to. So you can actually really let your creativity flow. And you have the same thing as far as a nice tight fit yep. with the ignition switch as well. Yeah, we have ignition switches and uh, light switches. So this the exact same kind of type where it just has an ABS nut on the back. So you can put it where you need to. The ABS nut continues on to a USB port. So this is for uh, basically getting rid of your uh, cigarette lighter once and for all. Um, these seem a little big, but there's a reason for that. They have to be this large to have the capacitors to handle what an alternator does to your battery and your power supply. Usually getting one of the chintzy things from Walmart that plugs into a cigarette lighter, it actually fluctuates the power enough to damage your uh, electronics and your battery in your phone. So there's a reason why when you go home, your battery seems lower almost every week. And uh, last but not least is probably this. Yeah, that, that was, that's new, that's exciting, and that's, gonna, that's still getting ready to come out, correct? Yes, yes, we are starting to produce these, so these are gonna slowly come into uh, production and availability as needed. So it is a massive hood prop that allows you to get rid of all your hood springs. Hood springs on the older cars are always a pain in the butt, and especially on big painted cars when under, things are under that much tension, it is always a nail-biting experience getting them right. This gets rid of that completely and actually gives you a very clean look to keep your hood up when you need to. Because it is not meant to be anywhere, you can design it to be everywhere. You can have it be very close to the bulkhead and have your hood prop be up high or very low and have it a cool slanted look. So it is universal overall and you would make your own bracket for it. 
depending on where you yes. want, how high yes. the hood wants to go and, and in the future, we're going to uh, basically cut it in half and have a miniaturized one for truck beds and for tailgates and stuff. Guys, I could tell you, as far as car building and finishing off of products, these products are top notch. I can tell you that for sure. Make sure to take a look at that stuff. We have all their entire product line available at summitracing.com. Justin, thank you so much for taking the time to thank come you. in and going over everything with us. We no appreciate problem. It.